Hi, this is Tyler from Oceans, and I am here today to show you how to install the latest firmware onto your ISAP Pro to use with data. Uh, some of the older ISAP Pros don't have the latest firmware capable of the data, so you will need to upgrade to the Enmar set, um, the latest firmware to use the data with it. So the first thing you have to do is we're going to install the USB drivers for the phone. I already have them on my desktop here, but you can go, uh, if you don't have them already, you can go download them directly from the NMARSHOTS website, or they are located on the CD that came with the phone. So you would just go to the NMARSHOTS website, and then you would download the USB drivers from here. I already have it on my desktop, so I'm not going to download it. So you just click on the link and it will download it. So I want to go back to my desktop and then open up the USB drivers. I'm going to go ahead and click on Setup. I'm going to go ahead and click on Install. Now this may take a few minutes. So while that's installing, I want to show you, if you go back to the NMRSAD's website, you will also need to download the firmware upgrade tool, which is used to actually install the firmware itself, which is located right here. You would just click on that link to download it. Again, I already have that on my desktop. And then you would actually have to download the latest firmware, which is right here, where it says current firmware version 4.0. You would just click on that and then download that as well. Let's check the progress on the install. It's still installing. All right. Now the iSAT thing is installed successfully. And then we go ahead and click on OK. And then now we can go into the firmware upgrade tool installer. So you would just run the firmware upgrade install tool. And then we would go ahead and select OK. And then just hit Next. And then hit I accept Next and then you would click on install next finish and now the iSAP Pro firmware upgrade tool will open up now if you notice it says that your data will not be will be uninfected by it. So if you upgrade it, all your information still should be still on there. And now you would click this button right here to browse to find the actual firmware upgrade tool, which we've downloaded from here, which is this link right here. And then we would browse for it. I have it on my desktop. So I'm going to click on Desktop. And then I'm going to scroll down. And then it should say Prod Build version 4.0. I'm going to go ahead and select it and hit Open. And then I'm going to go ahead and select Next. Before you do this, 
make sure that your phone is not connected to your computer and then hit next and then now you would plug your USB into your computer the USB cable that came with the phone then once you have it into your computer you would plug it into your phone which is on the bottom of your ISAT Now I've already upgraded the phone that I have here, so it's not going to show up in the list here, but it should show up right here in this little status box. And then once it's actually connected, the Start Upgrade button will be enabled, and you would just click on the Start Upgrade, and then it will install the latest firmware onto your phone and then it should take about 10 to 15 minutes for to fully install the firmware and then once that is installed you will have the latest firmware and which is capable of using data on your iSAT Pro this has been Tyler from Oceans and thank you for watching